Unable to withstand confinement, the confined head quickly transformed into a giant cannon and launched another attack on Optimus Prime. It then dropped a large net, capturing both Optimus Prime and Bumblebee into the alien warship. To rescue their teammates, the Autobots and Cade secretly infiltrated the warship that was about to leave Earth. While searching for Optimus Prime's holding place, Cade accidentally opened an armory, and the two quickly selected suitable weapons. However, several guards heard the noise and came to investigate. Seeing this, Cade had no choice but to pick up a weapon and fight back, quickly killing all the patrolling guards. The two successfully rescued rescued Bumblebee, and the Autobots also found Optimus Prime, who was imprisoned there, discovering that the so-called Cage was actually an escape pod. They planned to drag the escape pod away from the warship, and Cade and the others prepared to evacuate. However, the only way to leave the warship was through a few ropes suspended high in the air. What made them even more desperate was that halfway through, a group of mechanical wolves came to surround them. Seeing this, Cade quickly picked up a weapon and fought back, but the enemy's firepower was too strong, and the mechanical wolves cleverly began to gnaw at the ropes. In a moment of crisis, Bumblebee descended like a divine soldier, easily taking care of the minions, but Cade and the others still fell. Bumblebee leapt down from a great height without hesitation, successfully rescuing several people. At this moment, Crosshair arrived in a spaceship to provide support, but the pursuers were also closing in. Bumblebee lifted a ship and smashed it down on an enemy aircraft, while Crosshair blew up a bridge, taking out two planes. However, there were still many enemy aircraft left. Displeased with Bumblebee's low efficiency, Crosshair had him pilot the spaceship while he performed a backflip to open his parachute, shooting arrows left and right with great flair. After a thrilling chase, Bumblebee drove the spaceship into a tunnel, successfully dealing with the last pursuers. Meanwhile, the warship had activated its engines to leave Earth, completely unaware that Optimus Prime had already piloted the escape pod away. Seeing the city severely damaged, the bald man decided to relocate with the research results to China. On the other side, during the confrontation with Shockwave, Optimus Prime vaguely sensed that there was a trace of Megatron's aura in him. At that moment, a mini-robot revealed the truth. Humans had secretly brought Megatron's head to the base and learned about alien technology through research. Then, a completely new body was created for him, but humans did not realize that Megatron was not truly dead. He manipulated the lion residing within his head, quietly spreading his chromosomes. The current shockwave is the reincarnated leader of the Decepticons, Megatron. With the support of cutting-edge technology, he has become even more powerful than before. Unbeknownst to them, the technology companies have been toyed with by him, and his goal is to use humans to find the seed for the creator to transform the planet. Once detonated, it would destroy the human world, creating more transformation elements and turning Earth into Cybertron. At this moment, the seed has already been taken to China by the bald man. Optimus Prime, they must stop this catastrophe before Shockwave obtains the seed, but they were still a step too late. During transport, Shockwave tore off his disguise, stood up, and commanded all the artificial robots on site to disintegrate, ordering them to find their master at all costs. Fortunately, at a critical moment, the bald man had a change of heart and secretly escaped to the rooftop with the seed, thinking he could hide there safely. However, he was soon discovered by Shockwave's subordinates. Luckily, the Autobots arrived in a spaceship just in time, and as they prepared to take the bald man aboard, a Decepticon member quickly opened fire on them. The spaceship lost control, swaying in the air and falling into the depths of the cliff. Fortunately, the Autobots were not seriously harmed. Optimus Prime, fully aware of Shockwave's power, had no choice but to enter the cabin, preparing to break the seal and awaken the ancient knights who had been asleep for thousands of years. 